Hello, and we're back. Last episode, I said that I would turn in the quests, the uh, side ones, not the main one. So, I did that, and teleported to Rogers Reach, where we will turn in our main quest, for at least for Mephred's, uh, Mephred's quest. We still need, we still need to do Monago's, though. First of all, allow me to commend you both on a job well done. Though nothing went according to plan, we nevertheless managed to attract some new recruits, and it was your passion and conviction that moved them to join. Thank you. No, thank you for giving me an opportunity to find out what our people have been through these past 20 years. It's been humbling. And troubling, too. I'd heard about the skulls, but that was the first time I'd seen them in the flesh. I know you say they're the same as any Imperial soldiers, and maybe that's how I'll have to think of them for myself if our paths ever cross on the battlefield, but... When, if, uh, not if, that day will come, Lise. You can't afford to hesitate when it does. Young, old, conscript, citizen, Garlean, Alamegan, none of that matters. They've all got their reasons. But they're no better than yours, especially when they're bearing down on you, blade in hand. Saying that, I don't want to kill any more than, I, than you do. If I could convince them to lay down their arms, I would. Sadly, I've... I've never been much of a talker myself, but who knows. Maybe you could be the one, Lise. Your father certainly was. Right then, I'd best begin preparing for these new recruits. Atelios, at least it's been a, a pleasure. Yes. I mean... I don't know. Hmm. Wait, beach run. <laughs> beach. Yeah, that's the... Hmm. It's also 601 gil. I'll sell it. Oh, look at us all go. Look at us. Babies. Oh, I leveled up! Sweet Jolt 2! Yes! More damage. Oh my god, level up. Nice. Th I think I am actually above the... Uh, the uh, quest line right now. Because I think you're supposed to be level 61, and I'm now level 62. I mean, I could be totally wrong and be right exactly where I'm supposed to be. But, you know, whatever. Oh! What's that? Oh, I think that's the site log. I think. I'm not sure. Awesome, I got Jolt 2 now. That's great. Alright, let's get this first. I'm pretty sure this is the site log. Ah, yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's just skip over these, because it's just giving us the uh, Stormblood, uh, Stormblood sites. I have never done any of the site logs, so, um, yeah. Stormblood entries. Alright, let's talk to Minako. I'm so tempted to keep the mask on, honestly. I'll do for this quest. Just for this quest, and then I'll turn it back off. Got everything you need? Good. Then let us be off. Please give me give me the direct hit um thing, please. Give me. Give me the materia so I can meld it. It's my Shire weapon. Wait, it's augmented, right? Good. Speak with Monago in the fringes. Alright. Oh, hold on, I want to explore. Get me some XP. XP XD. Come on. There you go. Honestly, this helmet is very cool. And I love it. I'm sorry, mask. It's a mask, not a helmet. There they are. Quiet! You hear that? 
That was a Ceruleum engine backfiring. Imperials. Ye gods, you have, pre uh, you have preternatural senses. I didn't hear a thing. When you grow up hunting in these lands, you learn to discern the sounds that could mean life and death. Be they of Predator or a patrol. For what I'm hearing, they have a seven-man patrol augmented with a single Magitek armor. Wide search pattern divided into two. No, three teams. I don't think they know we're here. It's risky, but we should split up and try to take them um, take them all by surprise at the same time. We don't want them calling reinforcements. Yep. Three teams, three of us. Nothing for it, uh, nothing for it then. Where are they? Head north. You should see them long before they see you. I'll deal with the ones to the south. The armor should just be to the west. Atelios is best equipped to deal with that. We attack in five. That should be enough time to get into position. Rendezvous on the west bank after. Any questions? No? Then good luck. Goodbye. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry for that. Um, something happened. I, I got something, like, something was stuck in my throat or something. I don't even know. But I just started c coughing like a... Coughing up a storm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, please. Thanks. Okay. I feel like one of these things is going to. Yeah, might as well. Oh, whoa! Hold on. Hold on, was that just Jolt or? Oh, that was Jolt. That is so cool. Oh. Wait, what? Cast instant? Wait. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Okay, hold on, I gotta see something. Wait, is it actually? Hold on. <gasps> wait, wait, hold on. Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. Okay, no, okay, okay, good. Cast and then recast. Okay. I was like, whoa, instant? No, it's, it's just... Because I had dual cast on it, I didn't realize. Like a fool. Okay. Oh. Yeah, let me just not do with that real quick, you know? Hey there. Looks like everything went to plan. Not that I, not that I'm surprised. The three soldiers I faced didn't put up much of a fight. Most of the Imperials we get out here are conscripts, uh, conscripts from other provinces with little training and even less conviction. It's grim work killing men and women like that, but don't uh, don't doubt that they'd do the same to you. If the roles were were, um, were reversed. And don't you dare pity a man in armor, conscript or no. A soldier piloting one of those can kill a dozen good men in the blink of an eye. Not that I need to tell you that after what happened at the wall. Ah, there it is. I think we already have that, so... Haha, <laughs> rip. I'm just gonna try on these other jackets, just because... Ooh. That actually looks not that bad. And then that's just the white. Okay. 
Right, I believe we've rested long enough. We should resume our journey before someone notices their missing patrol. We're clear. Only Alliance patrols ahead. You said the forces at Castrum Orient were under the command of Flame General uh, Roban Alden, did you not? By Rogger, the Bull of Alamigo himself. I never dreamed I'd have a chance to meet the legend. Yeah. Question. All right, we have to speak with Ramon. Okay. Okay. Like its back was turned. Oh, hey. Oh, why did I start lacking all of a sudden? All right. It is good to see you again, my friends. I hope you are here to tell me you have made contact with the Resistance. We are, General. Allow me to introduce Monago of Rolga's Reach. At your service, sir. And may I say what an absolute honor it is to stand before the Bull of Alamigo. These are not the blood sands, girl. You and I are but soldiers on a battlefield fighting for the same cause. Uh, as you say, General. <clears throat> on behalf of Commander Kemp of the Alamegan Resistance, I present to you our formal response. Good. I'm glad we've reached an accord. Though I was not aware you had suffered such losses. Aye. Some of our finest took part in the Griffin's doomed assault, and we've been struggling to find new recruits ever since. The massacres cast a pall over the whole resistance, and many who might once have been open to joining us have since thought better of it. After all of the Griffin's false promises, one can hardly blame them. They have no desire to give their lives for a lost cause. We will not lie to them. This is war, and lives will be lost. Yet what we offer is not the fever dream of a madman, but true hope. The people need proof of this, Father. Let us show it to them. I say we stand shoulder to shoulder with our new allies and engage the Garleans in open warfare. The Resistance must demonstrate that they can hold their own against Imperial regulars. And with our assistance, I am confident they can do just that. If we can achieve even a token victory, I believe it will serve to rekindle the hope of the Alamegan people and inspire them to rise up once more. Ah. 
It's just like what uh, Ishgard did with the grand melee. Aye. Aye. Once word spread that we'd won a battle against the Galleons, I'd wager we'd have new recruits flocking to us from Malms around. The question is, when and where do we strike? I'm glad you asked. I have a plan. Our scouts recently informed me of an interesting development at Castellum Veladina, namely the arrival of a shipment rumored to have come from the research and development facilities near the capital, containing prototype Magitek armor. It is our assessment that this armor is to be field tested here, most likely against Alliance forces. Mayhap before the day is out. Damn it all, more Magitek weapons? That's the last thing we need! Your concern is not unwarranted, but we need despair just yet. The shipment is thought to have contained a single heavy unit, and one or possibly two support units. With a well-laid ambush, we are confident we can destroy them all, thus hindering their development and delaying future de uh, deployment. And should we carry out this joint endeavor with the resistance, they will, um, they will have their rallying cry. It would mean dropping all pretense about the Alliance not wanting to go to war with the Empire, but you'd have a lot more folk willing to stand up and fight if they knew they weren't alone. And you were going to, and you were going to have to do it eventually anyway. Exactly. And so what I propose is simple: we harry their patrols to bait them into bringing their prototype weapons to East End, where our resistant allies will take them from behind. Simple indeed, and well within our capabilities. I see no reason to delay, especially if a field test is imminent. What say you? Assuming the vice marshal's intelligence is accurate, I agree that uh, I, I agree with his assessment and fully support his plan. I shall notify my comrades at once. Understood. I shall have one of my men bring you the details of the plan anon. And we, for our part, will be fighting with the Alliance, yes? I somehow doubt you were intending to sit this one out. Now let's see. 550, 550, 550. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just sell it. Uh, more. More weapons to sell. We've been careful to avoid needless shows of force the side of the wall, but that's all about to change, and when it does, you may well uh, you may be sure they'll send their new toys out to entertain us. I would ask you to participate in this operation, but from that look I see it is a foregone conclusion. My thanks. Uh, per Pippin's plan, we need to turn East End into an Imperial Graveyard. You're a dab hand at this, and I'd be a fool not to use you. Head to this spot on your map. Right here, right? A patrol should be along shortly. Deal with them, then rendezvous with the rest of us at this location. Go well, Atelius. On it. Oh, there are side quests! <gasps> side quests! What kind of side quests? Oh! Magitekal failure, wait! What, do you, what is this for, huh? Prison break, doing a risk part, da 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 da, spicy things up. Okay, we'll do this one. Oh, A the current. Oh, definitely. Atelius Alderic of the Twin Adders, just the man I wanted to see. We've misplaced a number of Garlean drones taken from Balsir's wall, and by misplaced, I mean the damn thing sprang to life and stormed out of the base. They need to be dealt with before any civilians come to harm. Being familiar with Magitek as you are, I can think of no one better to assist us. If you would be willing to help, go and speak with Lieutenant Gnifa. She's overseeing the initiative to terminate the drones. Okay. Okay, so give us either currents. Good. We need those things, dude. Ah, Atelius Alderic. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. The drones were not in our uh, possession for long, but a cursory inspection showed they were made with a hair to for unknown metal alloy. They are all but impervious to traditional firearms, which is why we commissioned Garland Ironworks to fashion a weapon capable of penetrating their armor. It has since been fitted to a suit of Magitek armor, which I would ask you to pilot. If I'm not mistaken, this would not be the first time you've piloted one of these suits. It should take you no time, then, to familiarize yourself with the controls. Now, the drones were last sighted due east of here and to the north along the Veladina River. I fear recapturing them is out of the question, so do whatever you deem necessary to stop them. <gasps> yes. Okay. 
Awesome. Wait, so... Hold on. Hold on. Range? Radius. Uh-oh. Wait, hold on. This way. Oh, okay. New location. Extra. can't interact, so... Oh, I did the wrong one. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. I messed up. Okay. So I thought that destination point was um for for the Magitech quest, but no, it isn't. Okay. Whoops. I hecked it up. XP bonus. Do I want to do this? Sure, why not? I get my ass proceeded. I get my ass whooped. Yeah. 
this is an XP bonus, so it's better if I do this. Look at everyone. <laughs> Dude, this is why you do these. Because there's, so it's an XP bonus, so there will be a lot of people who are doing this. Oh my god, 150! Like, look how much XP that was! Oh, hey, now I'm out. See ya! Yeah, so whenever you see those, like, fates with the XP bonus, do them! Because then everyone will flock to you. Actually. gonna be heavy. Thanks. Honestly, doing those fates with the XP bonus is so much better than trying to level up by doing regular fates. Because you see how much XP I got there. I got 150,000. Usually, you'd get only, I don't know, like 60k. So, it would be well worth it. ride this thing because it's funny. Sorry, I touched my mic. <laughs> Oops. Oh, 
actually where's your bot? Oh no, he's back there. Whoops. Yeah. Go away. We're probably going to have to turn in the Raban quest. Oh no, is this Raban Extreme? Oh my god, it is. This is the uh, this is the accursed Raban Extreme. What? Tarnation. Hello. Hey, the current. All went to plan then? Good. Our scouts report that a unit escorting the prototype weapons has left Castrum Veladina, or Castulum Veladina. The resistance is already in position, so we have but to wait for our guests to arrive. This used to be... Oh my god, I remember this. Robot. Extreme. Yeah, it's that guy. Things looked grim for us after Cartano, didn't they? Oh, how they doubted us. Yet here we are, right as rain, with fancy new toys to put through their paces. <laughs> it's like all my name days have come at once! Well, well, if it isn't Garland's little troublemaker. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on Xenos' face when I bring him your head. You can try me. That is, if my secret weapons here don't grind it into mush. Attack! I feel like we should kill the supporting units first. But, who knows? Damn you! Is that what I'm supposed to do here? It doesn't look like it's taking that much damage. Jesus. Now I've got ya! Oh my 
Venga. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to kill that thing or what. Because none of them are taking damage damage, so... supposed to be killing. Oh! <gasps> I didn't realize it was out of mana. Uh oh. You'll be weeping blood! Oh, God. Alright. I'm just gonna... Ow! Okay. Alright. I'm like, what is that? Stares at it. Like, okay. I'm supposed to just tank this honestly. Just 
just away from everyone else. Alright, I'm gonna have to... Oops. Just procure Alize. And then... I was gonna dash it, but I can't. Not with uh, <laughs> this thing. Right. I'll have to say. He's alive, okay? Oh! We did it! He who fights and runs... What the? Who in the hells are you lot? For all amigo! Let none escape! Alize, don't run! of Magitech design my ass. I've passed harder stools than these piles of scrap. You'll pay for this. Mark my words, the next time we meet will be the last. You'll be the last because I'll probably have killed you then. Tell you, Viceroy, the day belongs to El Amigo. Yeah! 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 Look at all of us. Ah. Well done, all of you. I call this operation a resounding success. 
can't say I'm surprised. The Bull of Alamigo had an impressive military record before he went west, as I recall. Credit where it's due, Master Kemp. It was Marshal Tarupin who made this plan, and all of you, resistance and alliance alike, who carried it out to perfection. Aye, that they did. Not a single casualty, for which I'm grateful beyond words. I've no doubt our comrades back at the Reach will feel the same. As our, uh, as will ours. Awesome. It's been a pleasure, General. Until the next battle. Benago, I leave the Scions in your care. We shall return to the Castrum, then. Atelios, Mistress Livier, uh, once more you have my thanks, as Master Kemp said, until the next battle. Take care. I had heard the stories, but to actually see you in action? I almost found myself pitying the Imperials. Seriously, though, it was inspirational. Ah, but you must be tired of hearing that, eh? I'll keep it simple, then. Thanks for the help out there. Oh. Wait, did I get one already? Wait. Total, none. Actually, I'm gonna get three, then. Just in case in the future I need it. Ooh. Okay. And then these ones I can sell. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Well, there's no reason to remain here any longer. Let's get back to the Reach. Alright. Okay, the Reach, and okay, we need to turn in the other quest, but I will do that in the next episode. For now, I will end the episode because it has been a while. Um, 47 minutes of an episode, but I've had fun regardless. So, like always, take care, be safe.